Hello one and all, this is Longeable, and today you're helping me fight a war. Not one of those modern wars with stupid guns and cannons and all sorts of nuclear weapons. You're helping me fight an ancient war. A war between civilizations fighting to survive, fighting to try, fighting to... Air supply. I need words of rhyme. Okay, so let's get this started. This is Age of Empires 2. If you've never played Age of Empires 2, what's your problem, man? Get in here, play Age of Empires 2. Age of Empires 2 is an RTS game, and it's one of the best ones you'll ever play. I'm not gonna, getting into any RTS arguments with people, so <coughs> it's what I personally think is one of the best s RTS games around. So, whatever. I've got everything already set up here, so <coughs> let's see what we got. My name is Joe. And I've chosen to, that's the name of my civilization, or well, that's my name as leader. Uh, the civilization I've chosen is the Spanish. I've chosen the Spanish because they're my favorite, one of my favorites in the game, for no particular reason other than they're Spanish and they've got uh, Megillodores and all sorts of stuff, even though that's Mexico. Uh, I'm player number one, that just means that I'm just player number one, that's pretty much it. And I'm on team one. My other allies will be the computers. The computers are computers. And they will be random civilizations between and they'll be on different teams. So we got four different teams. And the reason that I have three allied three allies instead of two allies like everyone else is because I'm not very good at this game. I really enjoy playing it, but I'm not particularly good at it. So don't complain. This is how it's done. It's gonna be how it's done. So you go somewhere else. You go watch another let's play of someone playing it on the hardest difficulty and winning in two minutes. That's not me. So, the game I'm choosing is random map. Random map is just <coughs> how the game is played normally. There's no specific game type like King of the Hill or anything. The map style is normal. And the location I'm going to choose, um, one that I'm quite fond of. Let's choose... Um, it tells you about them at the bottom there. So if I choose Ghost Lake, the central lake is frozen over, creating a no man's land. But one that I'm quite fond of is coastal, where the lands, uh, where the land meets the ocean with plenty of water and large land masses for battles by land or sea. So we're gonna go coastal because I do enjoy some naval battles. I'm a naval battle man myself, and the difficulty I'm picking is standard. As I said before, please, please refer to five seconds ago when I said that I'm not playing on the hardest difficulty. And if you want to see hard difficulties, go watch someone else, not me, not me. Uh, Seven hundred players. Resources is normal. Makes no sense unless you played the game much. It's just normal. The population limit is 200. Every player can have get a population of 200. You'll see when we start playing. Reveal map is normal. If you've ever played an RTS game, you'll know. I'll explain it when we get into the game. But uh, there's a fog of war. Basically, unless you explore the map, you won't be able to see your enemies and stuff. The standard age, you start in the feudal age and you move towards the imperial age. Basically, getting more... As you advance through the, civilized, the different ages, you get more... Uh, technology, etc. And victory is standard by winning conditions must be... Uh, select the winning condition. Uh, basically victory, either all your allies <coughs> defeat the enemy, you get a wonder, or you collect all the relics. Yeah, one of those three different things. So I'm going to be going for the standard victory of defeating all our enemies. So me and my two allies will find out who they are in a minute. We'll hopefully be able to knock out all these other players. I spat my keyboard. That's disgusting. So team together, lock there. Whatever. You guys get bored of listening to me. There we go. Some nice Spanish music getting you into it. Here it is. It's loaded. Starting a new game. Starting a new game. I'm so in the mood for this. I'm ready for this. I'm ready. I'm ready. Here we go. This is Age of Empires. So the the match is won by how you act in the first two seconds of the match. So you got to get building. I'm going to build fast. So what you have here is you have your town center. This place in the middle. You have three villagers and you have your scout. Your scout is used to scout areas. As you can see, this is the mini map. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send my scout to visit my allies. Now, Villagers are your way of creating, uh, gathering resources and creating buildings. So basically, they're your building blocks. You're, they're your Lego men. They're the men that make use the Lego to uh, make Lego structures. So they're they're your Lego men. Uh, I'm gonna have to search around a bit now because I send a, send sent away my scout like a dumbass. Uh, so here we go. At the top here, you have your different resources. Uh, okay, you guys can work on wood. Uh, you have your wood, you have food, you have gold and stone. Resources are used to build the different buildings. So building that mill costs a certain amount of wood, whatever. And building a house costs a certain amount of wood. Here is your population limit. Uh, I have four population at the moment. Oh, jeez. She's doing nothing. I'm just going to do a little trickery. Look, watch this. Ooh. Telling her to do multiple things at once. That's pretty lead for me. I... 
It's pretty elite for you, it's pretty elite for me, it's pretty elite for everyone. But that's how it's done around here. That's how I'm doing this. This is how I'm let's playing this game. Um... <clears throat> I was going to say something. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So your population limit, it's 10 at the moment. The more houses you put down, the more people you can have in your town. So since I only have one house down, I can have 10. Each house holds 5 people. Now I'm going to go over to my... I'm going to go over to my scout who is visiting my allies, as you can see. And my allies are pretty... Well, they're the exact same as me at the moment, but... We'll see in the future when I completely speed ahead of them. They'll be begging me, absolutely begging me to help them. But for right, right now, we're all we're on an equal playing field. Us, us and the enemy, we're all the same, and that's you know it's all good. It's all good, but not for long. Not for long. What we have here is gold. Gold can be used later on in the game for stuff. I'm not going to go into it because it won't make sense. Here we go. This is what I've been looking for. This is food. Uh, food is used to. Build more humans. Yep, that's the term they use in this game. Well, not really, but to build more humans, to make more people, and just overall have a good laugh. So, as I was saying while I was in the selection menu, or whatever you want to call it, this is the fog of war. Um, unless you travel, as you can see from my scout, as my scout travels, oh, go back to him, as my scout travels further into the fog of war, he discovers it. He He's searching the area. He gets to see more of the area. So that's why you need to scout. You need to find out where your en enemies are. You gotta make strategies and you gotta do stuff. So I'm gonna send them out into the deep darkness. Yeah, see I right clicked there. I sent them out into the deep darkness and he has to find it. So that's why we're in a dark abyss at the moment. We're living in the underworld. But it won't be like that for long when we discover cartography. Because, let's face it, your allies in this game know how to scout. They do the scouting for you. So what you do is you wait till the next age. Uh, I'll show you how to get to the next stage. At the moment, we're at the Dark Age. Sorry, we're not Feudal Age, we're Dark Age. Uh, but when you move on to the next stage, you can just steal all their work from them. So you don't have to do much. You don't have to send your guy around. Okay, that's another scout. That's a... I don't know if that was an enemy. Yeah, it was an enemy scout searching the area. So he's probably going to scout us out in a minute. You'll, yeah, it's a common thing. Uh, enemy scouts coming through your town. But there's nothing you can do this early on in the game. They will, no one attacks each other this early in the game. You can search off over there. Okay, so I gotta go do stuff. I gotta really... I got to start building up resources. So I'm gonna make a couple of more villagers. And I'm gonna start collecting resources. Now, if you want to uh, advance to the next stage, which you must do soon enough. There we go, there's our enemy. Our first enemy is the Goths. The Goths are white, so the Goths will be my main enemy. I don't like them. I don't like people who are white. Yeah, poor choice of words. So... We have here at the side, this is the name of our different enemies and allies, and it's put in a nice uh, highest to lowest score form, so I don't know what it really is, but if you're high up, it's good. If you're low down, it's not good, so <clears throat> that's pretty much it. <clears throat> bit, bit phlegmy today, bit phlegmy. No particular reason for it, but I just am. Just get over. Just get over. So I'm going to build myself a mill. I think I already built one, didn't I? Oh, what a stupid tool I am. I'm going to build the mill over here so that uh, they can carry food to the mill instead of the town centre. The town centre is used as your default area to put your resources. So when the, la when the lads here are finished collecting wood, they go over and they put it in the town centre. But if you get a mill, a mill is used for food, You can bring it makes it faster. They bring food to the mill instead of to the... Here. Okay, so... In order to advance in the next age, you need to get two feudal age buildings, which are basically, you have your mill, and some, I think the, the house probably counts as one, and you need 500 food. So you need two buildings from that age, two new buildings, so a mill is new, a new building for this age, and I suppose a house is too, I'm not too sure about that. But you also need food, but at the moment we do not have enough food, we have 190 food, so we need to start bumping up our food intake. I'm going to make someone build a farm. Farm is a quick way of getting food and stuff. It's a nice... Uh, it's a nice way? Well, it is. It's nice enough. Uh, why am I sending you over there? You've already visited them. you got to go off somewhere new, man. Uh, so, a farm is a... Infinite source of food, but you keep having to replant the field, which can be quite annoying in the midst of battle. So, now these guys are going to destroy all my... Lovely trees around my uh, base. A lumber mill over here. 
A lumber mill is the equivalent of a mill, a normal mill, for wood. So it, if they're working away on this forest, they don't have to come back over here. So it's all good, it's all good. So we're getting plenty of food now. So we're going to be advancing soon enough. And you'll always, unless you're on a very hard difficulty, we found an enemy now. I'm going to be a dick now, watch this. Well, you probably should. <laughs> there we go. Don't attack the enemy this early. Look, I'm about to lose my scout. What a bad man I was. What a bad idea. Now, my scout is about dead. And I have no way of rehealing him this early. So that was, that was poor form by me. But it was funny, wasn't it? Okay, here's another enemy, I believe. No, he's an ally. So one of our allies is the Koreans. And our other ally is the... Hey, come on. Come on, man. Why can't I? Duke of Normandy, so I'm supposing it's France, or... Yes. I'm suppo I'm supposing, I'm guessing it's France, because, you know, Normandy being in France and all. So don't get angry if it's not France. Don't get angry at me, man. I'm trying my best, trying my best. So I'm going to go down to this dark corner over here. Scout out the area, find some more resources for myself as we gain more food. So I'm going to bump out some more villagers. Villagers are always good. The more villagers you have, is the better. But now our house, our people to housing limit is starting to fill up. So one of these villagers, this next villager, is going to build a house. All by himself, all by herself, she's going to build a house. And listen to what they say, construe. <laughs> How do I know that? That's what you get for playing Spanish a lot. Ooh. Palm trees, the beach. This is going to be, this going to be my little training ground. Let's see how big the sea is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to control this guy myself because I don't. First off, first off, I don't have anything better to do. But second off, because I don't know how big the sea is, and since it's such a uh, sporadic pattern, I can't tell him to do it himself. If that makes any sense. Okay, send him off there. You do that. You do what you do. Do what you do best, scout. Scout places. You're not a fighter. You're a scouter. Uh, scouts become rather useless later on in the game, so enjoy them. Enjoy them while they last. Enjoy the good days while they last. Now, we are pretty low on food, we are pretty low on wood, we're pretty low on everything. There's no use collecting stone this early in the game because you don't need stone till the castle age, and that's two ages time. And gold... Uh, see, what you need now is you need food and you need wood to advance. So. Spending your time collecting gold and stone while it's good, and it's you know it's all good, it's all fine. You're, I wouldn't say you're wasting your time, but you really are slowing yourself down. You want to? Oh, what's this? Oh, we have a fisherman, a red fisherman who's collecting fish. There are other ways to collect food in this game, which include killing animals and catching fish, which is also killing animals. Oh, a lovely birdie. Uh, but the farm is definitely the. It's the way to go. It's the best. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's just the best. Don't question it. It's just the best. Now, come on. You're supposed to be doing stuff. You collect more wood. Okay, we nearly got 500 food, so this is good. I'm going to knock you over onto a farm. No. Ugh. How much food is left on this farm? There is... No. There is 57 food, so... <clears throat> when this girl takes all the food off this farm, the farm will die and you'll have to replant it. There's usually, let's see how much food you start off, 175 food per farm, but you can upgrade that and stuff, but you need to wait till the next stage. That's why you gotta advance, you've gotta get better. You get better as you advance, so any stupid guy who wants to stay in this first age the whole game, what's your problem man, you gotta advance, 